The following information comes from the essay titled Climate Change Summary at GuyMcPherson.com. It was last updated August 2nd, 2016. This video summarizes self-reinforcing feedback loop number 8 in the essay with a focus on peer-reviewed papers and assessments from national-level governments. Remember, it only takes one feedback loop to ensure the irreversibility of climate change. Forest and bog fires are growing. In Russia initially, according to NASA, in August 2012. This phenomenon consequently was apparent throughout the Northern Hemisphere, according to a paper published in Nature Communications on July 9, 2013. The New York Times reports hotter, drier conditions leading to huge fires in Western North America as the quote, new normal, end quote, in their July 1st, 2013 issue. A paper in the July 22nd, 2013 issue of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences indicates boreal forests are burning at a rate exceeding that of the last 10,000 years. According to reports from Canada's Interagency Fire Center, total acres burned to date in early summer 2014 are more than six times that of a typical year. This rate of burning is unprecedented not just for this century, but for any period in Canada's baseline forest record over the past 10,000 years. A comprehensive assessment of biomass burning published in the July 21st, 2014 issue of Journal of Geophysical Research Atmospheres explains most of the global average increase in temperature and explains that biomass burning causes much more global warming per unit weight than other human-associated carbon sources. According to a paper published in the July 14, 2015 issue of Nature Communications, the length of the fire season has increased nearly 20% since 1979. Ignition sources are on the rise, too. According to a paper in the November 14, 2014 issue of Science, each 1C rise in global average temperature contributes to a 12 plus, plus or minus 5% increase in lightning strikes. According to a paper in the October 6, 2015 online issue of the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, is a paper describing how the 0.5C rise in global average temperature associated with the medieval climate anomaly, commonly called the medieval warm period, contributed to a substantial increase in area burn. According to the abstract, quote, warming of about 5 degrees C about a thousand years ago increased the percentage of our study sites burned per century by about 260 percent relative, relative to the past about 400 years, end quote. According to a paper in the March 16, 2016 issue of Global Ecology and Biogeography, climate change is adversely altering the ability of Rocky Mountain forests to recover from wildfire. Specifically, warm, dry conditions in the years following fires impede the growth and establishment of vulnerable new post-fire seedlings. Not only does climate change contribute to more and larger fires in the region, thus killing the trees in the forest, but post-fire recruitment is reduced by the same conditions that contribute to the more and larger fires.